Victory's success vision is now one of the greatest options for individuals wishing to tour the nation thanks to the addition of the term, tour, to it. Cruise control, heated seats and grips, ABS, and adjustable floorboards are now standard on the vision tour. The style may not appeal to everyone because it is often controversial and contradicting. I'm a senior project engineer with Victory Motorcycles. Been with the company about eight years. Mainly worked in the chassis group, uh, designing frame suspension. The Vision frame is really unique because it's very simple. Our frame is one casting. It's also the air box. So engines need a place for clean air for them to breathe so that they can, they can generate good power. And we basically decided that instead of doing a separate air box and frame, we should do it all all in one piece. Uh, there's a lot of advantages to this. It's, it's a lot lighter. Uh, it's more rigid. We use our engine as a stress member of the frame. The air box opens to the front and the filter bolts in here. So it's always getting clean air from right behind the headlight. If, if the engine is the heart of the beast, then uh, the air box is a combination of the backbone and the lungs. Some of our competitors have a rather convoluted path between the rear wheel and the front wheel. 
We basically have our engine, which has all machine tolerances, our mainframe, and our subframe, and our swing arm. Those are all castings, those are all machined to very tight tolerances, and that guarantees that your front wheel and your rear wheel are in perfect alignment. We do virtual testing, the equivalent of hundreds of thousands of miles of on-road testing. We're pretty proud of ourselves because uh, you, you take apart any other motorcycle, no matter who makes it, and there's all these there's welds and bolts and brackets and stuff, and you take our bike apart, and it's, it's just simple. It's just everything that needs to be there to make it a motorcycle, make it go down the road better. My name is James Holroyd. I'm a senior project engineer at Victory Motorcycles. I've worked on everything since the Vegas, uh, including the suspension on the Vision. Some of our competitors seem to think that three inches of suspension travel on a touring bike is enough. Well, we know that there's bumps bigger than three inches out there, so we decided to give the Vision 4.7 inches of suspension travel. So a really big bump, and you've still got some travel to go. We basically took a normal suspension and turned it 90 degrees and fit it as narrowly as we could and as low as we could on the motorcycle. That's the real, real innovation here is that we've got the suspension in a place nobody's ever be, been able to package suspension without getting into any of the other areas of the motorcycle. The way the uh, suspension works basically, and I'm just going to apply some load to the bike, is as the road input comes into the rear wheel, it rotates the swing arm. And you can see it moving here like this. That pushes up on a push rod, which actuates a rocker, which pushes down on the top of the shock. And that's really kind of cool because it means we all have only one connection between the rear suspension and the frame right under the seat where it's very efficient to take those loads and feed them into the rest of the chassis. And it gives us a very linear ratio all the way through the suspension travel. Because of the increased suspension travel compared to some of our competition, the bike is able to withstand those bumps and not not be deflected from its course. So it goes in a straight line or it goes around the corner. It holds the line extremely well without getting bumped around or starting to feel vague or even worse, unstable. We chose to use an air shock, which filled through this Schrader valve. You can adjust the rate of the suspension and the preload. This means that you get optimal ride quality when you're loaded or when you're one up, no matter what you weigh. The front forks are conventional type with cartridge dampers progressive springs to prevent you bottoming out when you hit the brakes. They're 46 millimeters in diameter, which means they're extremely stiff, give you a very connected feeling with the road, you had a very soft ride. Yeah, so tell me what y'all thought about that, that footage. About this Victory Vision. I personally am not gonna give them up. I'm almost looking for another Vision. I'm in love with the Magnum, but I'm in love with that vision. As far as the ride, the handling, the capability, the speed, uh, do put a uh, maximum tune on it. Gonzo pipes, Gonzo filter. And uh, believe me, it's really impressive. You can't beat it. Impressive bike. You ever see one used? I have, I advise anybody that's out there that's looking for a bike. If you're new to this channel. My name is Big Sean, aka the Victory King. Some people call me King. Some people call me Big Sean. Old people that know me call me Durant. I'm also known as Minister Davis. God will change your name, I will say that. So I'm giving you honest reviews, baby. No lies. They should have never got rid of victory. But like I said, you can still buy them. The, the name is still available on them. Um, it's just something I believe about the bike that 
just incredible, man, how they ride, how smooth they are. You know, I'm pulling up to the light right now, Robert Simmons style, you know what I'm saying? Rear brake only under 10 miles per hour. Only you know when you're gonna stop. I was watching him before I even bought the bikes. But in any event, you don't see me shaking and baking, baby, and I'm using my phone to record this. If we were on a Harley, it'd be like this. I would never get a clear video. This is going straight up from my phone. I do not have, first gear, preload, let's go. I do not have a GoPro or 360. I would like to get a GoPro, put on my helmet, and maybe a 360 so you can see how beautiful the bike is from the back with the sparkling paint and everything in it. But uh, today we're not talking about magnets. Today we're talking about visions. And the victory vision, I mean, it speaks for itself. You're gonna get so many questions when you pull up on a vision. I don't care what color it is. Mine's right? just white. You got black, you got all of this. So a lot of people like to talk junk. But I'm starting to see more and more victories pop up. They're not going nowhere. If you got rid of your victory, give it to me first. <laughs> Don't get rid of your victory. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, if you ride one, you own one. And if you own one, you definitely have two of those pieces. We out, Vic Nation. We out, YouTube. Till the next video. Peace.